Good morning. This is an insane story. Did you notice that so much insanity can be traced back to Brussels? Of course you do. This story is a man from Morocco. He came to Sweden in 2005 and he was granted a residence permit. And uh, he did not become a Swedish citizen. And they, they really don't know what he's been doing here in Sweden since 2005. But the security police decided that he was a terrorist threat and they wanted to kick him out of the country. That's how dangerous this guy is. And this was agreed upon in the Migration Board and the Migration Court and the Migration Supreme Court. They were all agreeing. This guy should go. And, um, but apparently this guy had a good lawyer who was fighting for him to stay in Sweden. And so they took it to the European Court of Human Rights. And they said, no, no, no. You should keep this guy. Why? Because he's at risk of being subjected to torture in his country. Why? because he's suspected of terror-related activities. So if Sweden just kicked him out and said nothing about this guy, it would have been fine. But because Sweden actually, in this case, did a good job, right? And looked at him and decided he is a terrorist threat. That's why we have to keep him. This is so crazy. And even the Swedish government was involved in this. They also wanted this guy out. Uh, so they said that the situation of human rights has improved in Morocco recently. <laughs> Why do they keep talking about human rights in this case? But the, the European Court of Human Rights said no, no, no. This is not true. There is a risk of torture and inhumane treatment. So you better keep this guy. Take care of him. It's uh, Brussels. It's like this madness factory. Crazy scientists, bureaucrats, creating, creating insanity for this uh, continent to deal with. I mean, we see it even in uh, countries like Poland and Hungary. Most of the problems that they are dealing with comes from this crazy factory in Brussels. I mean, every country suffers from this. Greece, Italy, Spain, UK, France, the Netherlands, Sweden, Finland, etc. So, of course, <laughs> this has to go. It's a mad factory in Brussels. Yeah. I wonder what's going to happen. I, I think maybe we should gather in Brussels one day. All of us. That'd be nice. I don't like this town. I don't. Not since Brussels established their headquarters there. I wouldn't want to go there. But for this purpose, I would love to go there. Yeah. It's a mad place. All right, see you.